It is the first Azimio coalition leadership meeting since the year began. Together, they came out to dispel any rumors that the coalition was headed for a downfall. Now Kenya leader Martha Karua making a first appearance alongside Hako principal for the first time in weeks. There's been a lot of speculation in the media. Oh, Azimio is splitting. Azimio is convening meetings which have not been held and so on and so forth. That is all trash, media propaganda. Azimio remains one and is here to stay, committed to shared values. However, Kalonzo Musioka, who has been publicly differing with Karua, was a no-show at the meeting. Azimio is all here except Honorable Kalonzo Musioka, who is out uh, of the country, is traveling to South Sudan today. Among the issues that formed the discussion during the closed door meeting was the Kenya Kwanzaa government handling of the economy following increased taxations, corruption, and the poor state of education. Azmio remains extremely disturbed by the worsening cost of living, the ever rising and reckless taxes by Sakayo, the collapsing national currency, the chaos in the education sector, the tribalism in public service, and the return of mega corruption. The coalition, aside from litigating government, plans on using other means to compel it to listen to Kenyans. Other ways are being worked on, whose ultimate goal is to force the regime to be sensitive to the tribulations of the people and to enable the people to take sh such steps as they may deem necessary, remembering that they have the residual power and sovereignty. Kenyans have regained their voice, their courage, and are standing up to the bullies in this regime. Kenyans are standing up in very remote parts of the country to tell off the government on its lies and its insensitivity to the people. While insisting on respecting the rule of law, Azimio plans to join those that have taken the government to courts to oppose some of its policies, which they claim are detrimental to Kenyans or are unconstitutional. Housing levy is a threat to livelihoods and incomes in the same way the plan to unilaterally sell public assets without the participation of the owners who are the people of Kenya. The United States of America has also been called upon to uphold the independence of the judiciary and keep off Kenya's affairs, especially on matters relating to deployment of police officers to Haiti. We take note of the support expressed by the United States government for the Ruto regime to appeal that to appeal against the ruling on the deployment of police to Haiti. It is our hope that all parties shall respect the independence of the judiciary and that foreign interests will keep off our national affairs. To ensure that they stick together and build the coalition, Azimi affiliate parties have been urged to engage in activities that strengthen individual parties. Azimi is further just stamping on its achievements in the previous year that saw the coalition stop some of Kenya Kwanzaa's excesses on Kenyans. Martin Opio, K24 TV, Nairobi.